I recently created a video that explained how to set up Amazon CloudFront for your WordPress blog using W3 Total Cash. Some of the feedback that I've received is there's a little bit of confusion around setting up your, your site host name to use a, a CNAME record with your hosting provider. So the URL that's displayed is, is a little more friendly than the, the standard URL you receive from your, your CloudFront distribution. And I think the easiest way to explain it will be to show you here. So if I go into my CloudFront distribution, the domain name that's assigned with that distribution is this gnarly looking beast that you see here. And if you were to select an image within your blog post, if you were hosting it on a CDN, that is the URL that would be displayed when someone clicks on that image. Uh, so like if I was to click on this image in my blog post here, you'll see that it shows up with this more friendlier version, cdn.craigerson.com. So you might be wondering, well, wait a minute here. You just told me the domain name is this. Why is it when you click on an image in your blog post, it, sh it, it shows this more friendly URL? Well, that's because I set up a CNAME record to point this subdomain, CDN, to this domain name in CloudFront. I know it sounds sort of confusing, but it's really not that bad, and I'm going to show you how to do it here. So if you go back to your WordPress blog, and within the W3 total cash CDN settings, which I'm already at here, in the previous instructions that I gave, you had set up your distribution name to be exactly what is in CloudFront. But I also added this new host name which is my CNAME record that I created through my hosting provider to make it a little more friendly. So how did I actually go about doing that? Every hosting provider is a little bit different. So I'm going to show you how GoDaddy works, uh, which is who've, who I have hosted this website through. So if we go into GoDaddy, the first thing you want to do is go to your domains. So click on your quick link, quick link here to manage my domains and you'll see a list of the domains that you have set up within uh, your hosting provider. And like I said, every host is a little bit different. This is how GoDaddy works. Um, click on the gear icon, icon up in the right hand corner of the domain you're interested in and click on manage DNS and you will see a number of different record types that have been created for you or that you've created. And you can see here, I created a CNAME record to point to my CloudFront distribution. Um, and just to show you a little more details on this, uh, the host is the subdomain on your blog that you want to point to the CloudFront distribution. It's really as, as simple as that. If I wanted to create a new one down here, click on CNAME, um, whatever your subdomain is that you want it to be. In my case, let's say I want to call it CD and you don't need the dot .com. you just need the prefix before your domain and you want it to point to your CloudFront distribution 
and you can keep the time to live at the default of one hour. Click Save. You just created a new CNAME record. Now we're not quite done here. Uh, the second step is going back to your blog. Add that new host name that you just created through your hosting provider, that CNAME record, and hit Save Settings and Purge Caches. The third step is going to your CloudFront distribution. You actually, actually want to go into that distribution and click on Edit. And you'll see uh, a field for alternate domain names, CNAME records. And you're going to add that CNAME record that you just created right there. Set all that up and then click Yes Edit. I've already got that set up, so I don't need to do that. And that's all you really need to do. So next time someone goes into your blog post and pulls up an image or some other attachment on your, on your site, back here, instead of showing the domain name assigned by CloudFront, you'll get a little more friendly domain name. Hope that helps explain things a little better. If not, leave a comment and I'll try to uh, answer any questions.